Yo, it's your boy D's Mini back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the, to the channel uh, on the road to 100K. Uh, today, we're going to take a moment of silence for, um, man, Big Motor out of Memphis. Uh, my condolences go out to his friends, family, his kids, his sisters. Uh, man, I've been I've been on a big motor, man, uh, ever since that Shy Glizzy situation where uh Shy Glizzy came to Memphis and they took his chain. Uh big motor, uh man, I ain't even gonna say he was a rapper because you could tell he was really, really in the streets of Memphis, but he, I like that people's champion got. Um I like a lot of his music, man, but man, this is one of me and my brother's favorite artists, bro. We always be like, yeah, you know, Big Motor, bro. You know, I call Big Motor, have him slap the shit out you. That's just how me and my brother joke. You know what I'm saying? But he was one of those artists, man, that I feel like if he would have had that Gotti or that Dolph behind him, I feel like he could have really, really took off. But because of the situation with Shy Glizzy, I felt like he got blackballed out of the music industry. Because at that time, Shy Glizzy was hot and everybody was messing with him. So I felt like he got blackballed and I felt like that that would lead him to stand in the streets. Because I felt like by him being around, because he got shit with Gates, you know, uh, OG Boo Dirty. Um, he was around Money Bag Yo before Bag really took off. Uh BCO Kenny, so he was around a lot of popping artists, but you, Rich Lord, rest in peace. He was around, around a lot of big artists, but I feel like he didn't take the rap shit really serious, you know? Um, he even got shot, you know, 12 times. Uh, so I feel, I feel bad, man, for his family and his kids and all of that, but this is what come with the streets, kids, and this is why I try to steer the kids away from the streets, man, because when you out there every day, bro, it ain't no guaranteed you're going to make it home. When that man left the house today, man, you know, he planned on making it home, bro, but he didn't. That's the life of the streets. You know what I'm saying? When you out here and you really got a name, y'all youngest call it face card and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Is it really worth it at the end? Because to me, the goal is, man, take care of your family, get your family up out of the struggle, live your best life, get to this money, fuck these bad bitches like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know, like, what these young niggas is on nowadays. It's like, you know, they wake up, like, ready to on go. Like, I, I wouldn't like that when I was a shorty. I don't know what these niggas is on. I was I was getting some money. You know what I'm saying? But rest in peace to Big Motor, uh, his his family. I send my condolences out. If, you know, if you got any kids, anything like that, man. But kids, man, man, leave these streets alone, man. It's not no ending to that shit, but death or jail, man. Like, just, just pay attention to all the rappers, bro, that's really, really in them streets, man. They either dead or in jail. Pooh Shiesty, King Vaughn, you know? Like, just, just, just keep keep watching. You know what I'm saying? The real, real, real motherfuckers, man, they ain't making it, man. It's your boy D's Media signing out, man. Man, this one right here, man, hit a nigga hard. But, man, uh... Uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. It's your boy D's Media signing out of here.